Mechanical keyboards are all across on setup pictures on Instagram and setup videos on YouTube. They are in all shapes and forms and you can modify them easily, but are they worth the hype? And most importantly, do you need one and will it make you a better programmer? We don't know how good I am in programming, but for sure I have experience with mechanical keyboards. So does the mechanical keyboard type better? No, not really. From a functional perspective, your laptop keyboard or cheap membrane keyboard does the same and works just fine to do all you need as software developer. So why do many programmers spend hundreds of dollars buying mechanical keyboards or even building custom ones and modify existing keyboards? Mechanical keyboards has super consistent case strokes and amazing typing experience. Okay, let's say unique typing experience. <laughs> Every K has unique switch below the keycap on mechanical keyboards. This is the biggest difference. Can you hear the sound? Sound is important. <laughs> Since each K has dedicated switch, you can expect very reliable typing experience. Basically, every keystroke is registered. You don't have missed keystrokes. When you're pressing the key, <laughs> you are getting the result. And that is one, and I will say mine reason why most of the gamers and professional writers, typists are choosing mechanical keyboards, and as programmers, we are writing a lot as well, right? So that's important. So generally, average mechanical keyboard will be much better than your 10 or $20 keyboard from grocery store tech corner. Those are membrane keyboards and they don't have switches below the keycaps, but they have membrane with electric contacts and it mostly works, but it is not so reliable like mechanical keyboards. A good mechanical keyboard can last lifetime because you can easily clean, repair them and even modify. Usually when cheap keyboard is broken, you just throw it out, adding to plastic waste and buying another one. But if switch is broken in mechanical keyboard, you just replace it and keep going. And of course, repairability opens doors to modifications as well. You can replace switches, keycaps, basically whatever. I just ordered Holy Panda switches and looking forward to getting Elvish keycaps for it as well. So that will be interesting experiment. Modifications can be pricey hobby, but mechanical keyboard enthusiasts do cheap mods as well to change sound of the keyboard and yeah, stuff like that. Custom layouts is another great reason to get mechanical keyboard. They are in all shapes and forms and sizes, whatever you can imagine. I'm curious to try split uh, layout keyboard like Moonlander, but for now I'm sticking with 80 or 60% keyboards. Those are relatively small keyboards without numpad and with or without functional key row. This one, for example, is smaller one, but as you see, there is no function row and I kind of miss uh, dedicated delete and tilde key. Aesthetic look and feel is important for me when you make your keyboard look look like you like and sound like you like. It makes big difference when you're sitting at desk and whatever you are doing, planning to write code, I don't know, write essay for school. We are spending long hours working, therefore I think that comfortable workplace is way more important than fancy car, because keyboard without doubt is most used device by me in, in our household. And it is much more fun to type all day long on the keyboard that I like and if it looks good, it is even better. So, but which is the best keyboard for programming? Sorry to say, but the best keyboard for programming does not exist. And if you are looking for one, you should just try a few and find what fits your taste the best. If you will look for reviews, then different resources recommending different keyboards. I tried a few of them and I can't say that those were the best or whatever. So everyone has their own taste. I like Iconix keyboard and they just sent me OG80 dark side keyboard. No, I will have matching keyboard model for my gaming PC. I will change switches to tactile holy pandas on my programming keyboard and uh, will stick with TTC silver speed on the gaming keyboard. If you don't understand what those switches mean and whatever, no worries, just get one keyboard and you will understand later. Do your own research and find layout and size what you like. Switches are kind of important, but do not overthink that. Uh, just try to get keyboard with hot swap uh, switches, then you will be able to replace them without soldering and that is endless game. You can just buy another one and replace and try what you like. <laughs> so welcome to the mechanical keyboard rabbit hole. So, but the most important question, does mechanical keyboard make you a better programmer? Not really, because if you are great in programming, you can do the job on 
most horrible keyboard in the world, right? But why should you? As a programmer, we are using keyboards all day, every day. I believe that better work environment, including keyboard, can help to be more productive and be focused and stay on task for a longer period of time. Yeah, of course, definitely custom-built keyboards, which cost thousands of dollars, will be better than cheapest Amazon mechanical keyboard, but it is not necessary to go all in immediately. You can give it a try and buy a cheap one and see if you like it, then start to try to modify it, and it's a really interesting hobby. So, thank you for watching, guys. See you next one. Bye-bye.